interview and job search strategies at work. Talking to IT Johnny once again. Hey, hi Johnny. How you doing, man? How's it going? Pretty good, man. How you doing, man? Good, man. You know, just looking at uh, how I can work from home completely, you know, completely. <laughs> Just the freedom it gives you just working from home and or because I know that obviously the next step is, you know, work from home, then eventually work for yourself. And in my case, anyway, work for myself. And so I've done it already, uh, but get back into work for myself. And then uh, and then my, you know, I can call the shots. Basically, I still have a customer, but I, I can call the shots. I want to wake up at four in the afternoon. I don't wake at nine in the morning. No worries, you know, um, for that. That's the eventual goal. And, you know, so that's, uh, that's it. I, I don't know a lot of, I've seen a lot of job sites. Like Indeed isn't very good. And I think it's the search function. So I've been on like digital nomads and I've read a couple things where they talk about what to put like a hundred percent remote or telework. Um, I, truth be told, I've read a lot of places where there's a lot of competition for work from home. So they go fast, a lot faster than your typical jobs. What, what's been your experience with that in, in searching for jobs if you have for work from home experience? I know, I know some, a lot of, I know a lot of managers. I I use manager and leader, two different, you know, obviously two different things. So a manager meaning like, ah, oh, I, I see you, butt in seat, you're here, all oh, right. And then a leader's like, hey, listen, um, you know, he or she's like, hey, you, you, you got it, you're good. Just do your project, go home, no worries. Or you know, or in that case, um, work from home. Like you're good. I think I think a leader's more apt to let someone work from home than a manager. Where the, oh, I can you know, because the the whole thing is oh, I can see you when you're here, and that person could be doing nothing the whole day, and they're still at work. Yeah. You can see me. Oh, yeah. 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 It doesn't matter. You can you can you can um with the sham. You can sham at home because you actually can at work. You know so. Being able to see somebody doesn't mean they're not more conductive work. I don't just mean you can see them. They're probably just being more slick with their, <laughs> with their hiding the fact that they're not doing work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but in the end, uh, of course you have to make sure that if, you, if, if you're trying to 
to make some holes. Or to try to put some Muslim home positions out there or make it pretty clear for the home that you, you have to make sure that you know, they are working and doing their work. But uh, you have to do that even when they're at work. You know, it's not like, it's not like, if somebody doesn't want to work, they're going to work just because they're at work. No, if somebody doesn't want to work, they just you know, leave you don't care. It is not about work regardless, even if they work at home. So that, that's just the person you just have to find and, you know, collect yourself. Regardless if they're home or at work. Um, now, somebody who wasn't home at work, you know, it was about making sure they get their stuff done, make sure they do their work, you know, they're going to do the work whether they're at home or at work, and, you know, just as much as they're doing work or doing work. Either way, both personnel are going to do what they do, regardless of where they're at, you know. Yeah. So the guy who wasn't doing work, he goes to where he's at home or not. The guy who doesn't want to do work, he's not going to do where he's at home or not, you know, so it's really not, you know, in the end. It's the personnel who, 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 you know, you just gotta find out. Yeah. Yeah. So, me doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter that point. It, you know, because you know, you know, all these jobs, at least when you're in like third position, a lot of them are meant anyway to be good. Like, unless you're at the data center or at the location where you're equipment at, a lot of IT jobs are you know, anyway, like you're not even, you're configuring equipment, you're designing equipment, you're coming up with architect designs, and you're like making up plans and policies, but you're not actually touching the equipment because it's like a thousand miles away. You're not actually touching the equipment, there's nothing. You're doing it all in one anyway, you're just in the building you're remote. So it's like, you know, so it's either way remote. But of course, as you said, it's that scene you aspect that they're. That, that's the main thing that they see you there. And, you know, also they, you know, also they're, yeah, you can talk to other people, you can have meetings in person, but again, I said this before, like, how many times have you been to a meeting to where a lot of people, you know, you have a meeting where there's like five people there and there's like also like 10 people on the boat, you know, so it's like, you know, <laughs> you still have people not even there on the meeting when it's, when it's a personal meeting, so. Uh, yeah, meeting. For meeting, yeah, that's a that's sort of a a reason to not want to be remote. But then again, not really because it's so much technology. That's where it doesn't matter. Also, because you get to see the person working or see them at work. That's that work and see them at work, whether they're working or not. But then again, like I said, it doesn't matter. If they're like that, they're like that. Only thing that's gonna change that is you getting a pay them more. You know, making you know, you know, changing some changing out you know, your environment and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, you're right, man. Uh, there's people out there who, who want to see the person there, so they're not going to probably go to a remote work even when they could, but, you know, it's what it is, I guess. What, what type of, um, what, what type of, what type of roles, um, overseas? Do you, th- do you think it's going to do, do you think it's going to be the same thing where, you know, some companies hire people overseas from, say, India or China or, Malaysia, Australia to do work here. I like as much as a virtual assistant. Do you think they're going to do something like that for us, for people in the states, if, basically that are that are wanting to work overseas? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, this, if our skill set uh, is comparable. It, it depends on the country. I mean, some countries are because of uh, the uh, the skill set that they're looking for. Because like the Philippines, they have a lot of because of their where our dollar is versus where they is. Oh, I get you. I, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to call it what it's called, but uh, the um, exchange rate. Because of the exchange rate, you know, what, what, you know our dollars way more than their money uh, or whatever they use. That could happen. I said, obviously, somebody in the Philippines, you know, who saw the hire people, who, who, a company in the Philippines ain't going to come to America saying, hey, We'll contract you out, you know, to work a job here. When a person in America comes in, okay, I'm expecting like this much money, and we're not paying our people anywhere near that much, so they're not going to come up here for that. Um, yeah, so that's the, for certain countries, it ain't going to, American fathers aren't going to go to certain countries to work, even remote, because it's not really going to be any, it's like, the people will be pointless. Unless, unless they want experience, and yeah, they, if they're doing for experience, you know, they may have that sure country in mind, but most companies probably even not even looking. Uh, in countries where they know they have to pay a lot of money to only 
you can be beneficial to them. So, but if a country's like, you know, other countries to where their money is worth more than ours or we're close to the same, you know, play bill, we may be done on the high. Yeah, that's, I could see countries that, you know, to where that's the case there, to where that would be uh, a thing that can, no, I would say a thing that can say that, I would say that's happening now, you know, to where companies are hiring people from the U.S. Uh, companies from other countries or hiring people from the U.S. to contract out for them or whether it's a vote or just hire them and bring them over or whatnot. But, yeah, I, I think that's, that's happening, you know. Now, in the future, it's, I think actually in the future, man, I think eventually, I don't know, I think in the future, eventually, because of technology only is going to be getting better, and who, and who can only imagine of what new technology is going to come in the future, near future at like that, I, I can possibly, I can, uh, I can think outside the box to say, and let my mind, you know, go into a crazy moment and say, a lot of the jobs, uh, the, the job industry, as far as, let's just keep it on the term, at least in the arts, you know, in IT, it starts to look more along the lines of, if you're not offering a job, you're going to be hard, really hard to fill a position. It's going to be really hard for you to fill a position. You know? Yeah. Um, that's what I, I see, I see it moving towards that, uh, in that aspect of things. Probably sooner than, than later, actually. To where if you're not even off from work from home at least a few days, you're not even going to be, people aren't even going to look at you. To where money is not even a really big deal anymore, you know, it's it's more, or do you want to work from home? You know, you don't, I don't care, I don't want to work with you, I don't care, I don't coach off, I don't care. You know, I can make that much, you know, over here. Working, working in the office, you know, you know. I mean, what's the that? Some people need to understand where I'm at, I don't care, you know. You're off work from home, I don't want to know you do. I can see that being a big, big, major factor, especially when there's going to be companies. And I think it's going to be a major factor because I think certain companies are going to make it to where that's their selling point. Like, they're going to push push it to where people looking for jobs are like, dang, this company's offering it from home, this company's offering it, well, dang, that's why the company's offering it. It's going to be so much of a, they're going to get a taste of it, like, right? The taste, get the taste of it or, or the smell. They're going to be smelling it from home. The, the aroma of what's going to it's going to whip by their nose. Once they get a sip of it, they're not going to want to go back to, you know, the, the piece of chicken on the ground they seen 10 weeks ago, you know. They, they're going to get their fresh steak. They want that fresh steak. And they're looking for their fresh steak. They get whipped in that fresh steak. It's like a, it's like a blood. They've been trained. We've all been trained from, from, from the puppies, you know, to work, work in the office. What happens when you get that perfectly trained dog, right? And they get a first taste of that blood. They go crazy. Dude, they go crazy. They don't want none of that. None of that pup, pup. Kid chemicals are mixed. They don't want the chemicals mixed on them, They want that. They want that fresh blood, that, that steak with the blood dripping. All right? So, you know, so, when you work from home, you've been trying to pup. You've been trying to since you started. They work in the office. You got to see the person. As soon as they get whiffed, as soon as they smell that, as soon as they smell that, they work from home. They see it. Woo! What was that? It's kicked them in the face. They're not going to want that office work. They don't want that work from home. And the more companies that keep offering it, it's just going to kick them in the face. The more companies, the more companies are offering it, that's who smells it. That's the smell. That's the smell getting bigger. And then they get a little taste of it. The more companies that they get taste of it, and then they don't want to work in the office. They want to work from home. Again, that depends on the industry and the job. But a lot of jobs will be able to, to move towards work from home. If, if that field in the industry allows it, you know, depending on what they do. But, but yeah, if, if that's the case, man, I, I see in the future, in the near future, I will start, we'll probably start to see a trend, you know, a little shift in the way companies, or not companies, the way job seekers or people trying to leave their current jobs to go to other jobs, you know, looking looking for better benefits or better, you know, better. It's just like people looking for benefits, you know, looking for, you know, some people who look better benefits over a little bit of extra money. And vice versa, some people may still have extra money over there. You'll start to see more people like work from home as, as a benefit towards them over a little extra money and or over a little extra benefits, you know? Because they can probably say, well, I say money driving, I say this or that, I say 
I do extra stuff while I'm working. It could be a lot of, you know, factors. You know, family more, you know, just a lot of reflective factors. You know, yeah, I see that being a big and a huge near future, a big, a big drive towards. Uh, and that's going to be a lot of companies to scramble and change their whole, you know, change how they operate. Just because of technology is they're going to have to change how they view things. How they, you know, it's, it's, that happens, right? That's what's going to happen for working home jobs or working jobs. And the, and the companies are going to, well, they're probably going to have to get rid of their offices. You know, I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you, let me tell you a story uh, kind of related to this. Um, I know there's probably recruiters listening to this, and I apologize if I offend any recruiters, but I'll just tell you how it is. Recruiters get 20%, right, roughly, of what whatever you you get paid. So, for instance, let's say someone gets 100000 right? And the company, a company, a third party company, let's say it's Sears, I don't know, Sears, let's say hires whoever to find somebody because they can't find people themselves, right? So they pay the recruiting company, what's that? They pay the recruiting company 20% then or, or a fee sort, right? To find people. And so what you have is these recruiters have these offices, right? And they're trying to find people, and then when work from home happens, the remote, and it's a full-time thing, that industry is going to probably go dry. And a lot of companies, are their offices are going to go vacant because they don't need to staff them anymore because people are working from home. And those recruiters yeah. out there, I'm speaking to you now, if, if, if you don't have an IT, if you're recruiting for IT, but you're not doing IT, you really should think about that. You really want to maybe think about that and joining us here over in the this other side of a house, basically. You know, leave that recruiting behind. Um, eventually, that's going to dry up. Not probably in the near time soon, but eventually it will. I will tell you, there's a. I was going to say I will, there's a company. It's called Cytel, and they work from home as well, and they do projects. They do. Uh, tele, I'm sorry, they do tech support for Charter, Bank of America, Dell, and it's strictly work from home. They send you a phone, uh, and, and they mail you a phone, or FedEx you a phone, basically. It's a VoIP phone, right? And then how it works is, even if you have a regular computer, you just plug in this USB stick to your computer, and you have, it's like a thin client. So you boot it up. You're booting up into like VDI essentially, right? Virtual desktop interface. And it's great. There's no, there's no hardware or nothing. It's just that little pen drive you throw in your computer, you boot up into that and you're in their system. And then when you're done, you just give the pen drive back to them, meaning you're done with the con or done working there. You give the pen drive back to them and then mail the phone back to them. Uh, there is the thing, though, that you, you do need dedicated Internet for that, like a, a Cat5 connection. Wi-Fi doesn't tend to work that, that well. And Especially on 5G, you know. 5G, you got like stuff like Air TNT, Eric, uh, Air Geek, Air Geek coming out. So stuff like that is going to alleviate all that stuff. So that better be easier to pretty, pretty soon. If there's an issue, you have a connection with like that. So you wanted to comment on the... The work from home status thing? Yeah, um, well, like you pretty much said it, man. Besides connectivity, like I was saying, uh, connectivity probably being the uh, I could say, an issue for some, I was saying, stuff like 5G and ATT, and probably, you know, another company like Ryan, I'm sure they're coming with them too. Uh, they're, 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 Technologies that are coming up with will alleviate any connectivity problems or help alleviate or make them less of the issue in the near future. Like very soon, I don't know about technologies coming out from these providers that alleviate connectivity issues in places where there's already no internet. Because they're going to start having, you know, pretty fast internet in those areas as well pretty soon. So, like, I don't believe it's going to stuff like this stuff coming out soon, very soon. And, like, there's, there's pretty much, like, there's, there's going to be hard, hard, it's going to be hard. You know how there's a lot of places that's hard to uh, get connectivity? There's going to be hard for a lot of places to not have connectivity pretty soon. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it, it's a very crazy soon, man. I don't know the time frame, but I'll probably say next few years, man. If not next year, as well. Like, this stuff's coming quick, man. Like, 
don't want to say quick, but I'm just reading stuff on top of that. But it looks like stuff stuff moving pretty, you know, at a steady pace. And connectivity is going to be improved. And work from home suffers from bad connectivity. I'm not going to you can probably agree with that. You know, bad connectivity probably makes some home experience a little, a little bad, you know, especially if you know you got to do some stuff in the middle and the choppy connections and like that. But with better connectivity, technology, technology improvement, then that again, that is to sure get some companies less of an excuse to um, work from home. And the companies that take advantage of it, uh, I'm not going to say they're going to, you know, have this big boom in, in uh, revenue or not in sales. I don't know, but it'll, it'll probably definitely make sure that they don't have a big employee drop-off once, uh, or, or some sort of employee drop-off when, when other companies do pick up on work from home and start to implement it even more, uh, uh, more and more, causing people to flee the companies, to go to the companies doing that. Because I guarantee right now, if, if I guarantee right now, I know at least, I'm going to say I know at least one person for sure I know who is up and leave right now, like, willing to say goodbye if a company came to him offering, heck, five, ten dollars dollars that saying he goes home every day, he would, I guarantee he would leave right this instant for this company. Not that he, not that he, it won't first come, he's just like, it's because his family, he thinks the issue is the thing but because of the, you know, issues, not issues, but the, uh, his family situation, he wouldn't even know how to He wouldn't even care. He would be like, oh, that's a hundred percent. Out, I'm done. See you guys later. That's it. That's all I need. Like, a lot of people would say, you know, like, what? Now I hear a lot of people say, they don't think they could work from home because they would get too bored. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like no, trust me. You might get bored at home, but trust me, there's a, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Some people might get bored. I'm not saying they're not, but some people might get bored with some old But in the end, I think most people will gonna uh, enjoy it. And uh, it, it might really be for people who get bored if they work from home instead of by themselves or they don't want to be around the wife. You know, <laughs> too long, we don't say that. They don't want to be around the wife for that much, for that, for that, that much, that much more every day. <laughs> or the kids or whatever. <laughs> They want to get away and try to go to work, you know. <laughs> there are things like cafes that people can go to and stuff like that, uh, where people have to be at work. Maybe in the future they'll have to be maybe automated, you know, but you know, there'll be places where they can go in the future, you know, so where they, they don't have to be at the house, you know, like cafes. Like I, even though, you know, here, um, my work from home days, you know, sometimes I just go to a cafe and it's the only at a cafe because it's a nice environment, you know, talk to people in the you know, just get out the, the house and or if I got to study, sometimes I just go study at a cafe or something like that, you know. I won't stay at home all the time, but yeah, so I understand some people that they ain't they don't get too much stuff at home, but yeah, there's, um, you, you can go into other places, you know, they're not too far away. Like, like, I think the main concern with a lot of people, uh, I'm not concerned, but, um, I could say, I think a lot of people, I don't say they're working at the office, but I say one of the, Things that they don't like is like if there's like a lot of traffic in the area and it takes them like 40 minutes or like an hour, it, it will normally take them like only 10 15 minutes to get to work or to the area. Now it takes them like an hour or an hour and a half to get to work because of traffic. Like that would be like a big booster because now you've got to worry about that traffic, taking gas, you know, let's wear it on vehicles, just a lot of things, you know, and it's saving you money. And you save money, put money in your pocket, save you money, have you to look at it. Um, and yeah, so you, you're, you're shooting that. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's good, man. So, Gary, in the future, I don't know how long it'll be. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to, how, how dramatic of a change it's going to be, but I say the more and more companies start to offer work from home jobs, the more and more people get a book, you know, they smell that fresh blood of the work from home, the more and more people start getting addicted to it. Trust me, it's gonna it's gonna start to be a, a uh, one of those benefits. Work from home is gonna be like a benefit, just just as good as the other thing. Not as good, you know, not as much like that, but it's gonna be a benefit that people like really really want, you know. And it might be a deal breaker for a lot of people so if they don't have it. If they know, they can go to other companies who do offer. That's that's the thing, man. It's just a lot of companies are offering work from home, 
for a lot of your positions, or most of the positions, if not all the positions, if a lot of companies start doing that slowly, but slowly, you know, slowly but surely, then it's going to be my own. Um, eventually, an employee position is like a product, you know, for for, for job seekers. Do you have the product that I'm looking for to come up with? You know, you got that work from home? No. You know, when you're trying to buy that car, do you have these features? No. Well, you know, I don't mind paying a few extra bucks to get these guys to teach you guys. You know, you have what I want, you know. Yeah, the program will be that, that feature they want, and if you don't got it, like, you know, that's what you get. Well, the company does go to the company you get. So, so that's what it's going to be like, but I think it's future. If you don't have that work well, you know, <laughs> nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they probably have to do that for like audio, but I, I, 
haven't looked. I haven't really actually looked at any of those. Even trying to look for any. But uh, I'm sure they got some. But I'm pretty sure it's probably Pricey too, because you know the test of audio out there is going to be you know Pricey. Uh, but I know they got. I know they got the standalone mics. You know that that do that. Or a system, whatever it's set up, whatever. Or at least that helps do that. Now, I don't think Toby does it, but pretty much as a player, it doesn't have any effect. Too much of an uh, issue, you know, which is actual. But you talk, because I know I have a, uh, my music mic. Like, you know, I still play around with who, who do I talk or not, but uh, <laughs> 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 I just think that it is. for Sonar Professional. Well, here we go, right? Sonar Professional complements a wealth of advanced features with a full set of professional effects and virtual instruments, including the acclaimed Pro Channel Console Strip, Integration, Addictive Drums, and Solo Edition. Buy yours now at cakewalk.com slash product slash sonar for $1.99. That's that's my commercial for sonar. I've seen jobs. That I've, I've, I've I've been seeing you know, some of these job searches that I've seen sitting there since like like I'm gonna say like April. They refresh the jobs, but they're still there. I don't know why. I haven't really looked at them, but I've seen jobs. I've seen like one or two jobs that not, that still keep popping up, like that are still there that that I've seen in April. And I'm, I'm kind of confused on how they're still there. Like, can't you guys find people for this position? Like. I'm sure they could, but I don't know what, what they're maybe not paying that much. I don't know what it is. But it's going to be, I think, for jobs that I've been working from home, you'll probably see way more jobs who are can't fill positions because people aren't wanting them because these other jobs are. But it won't be an issue now because there's not that much of a, a difference in ratio is people offering and not offering. But once that, once that, um, 
worked for a company called the General Board and worked for Home Ship. And, you know, the Lady Liberty, you know, the law of the land. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the law of the land is, is going towards, uh, you know, justice. The justice is work from home, right? Yep. Yeah. Once that, once that, once that, once that starts to end up, and, you know, not work from home, starts to end down. Right now, not work from home is at the top right now. And work from home is at the bottom. Once it starts getting even, that's when we start to see a little, you know, companies start to have a little bit issue. Not that much of an issue, but a little bit issues here and there. So there's some positions here and there. But once start, the scale starts to tip, way more and more in favor of lady liberty, you know, having work from home positions, meaning people are jumping off the ship of being that work and jumping on the ship of work from home, meaning more companies are jumping up, up, up aboard the, you know, I'm not bad, I'm going in one direction. <laughs> the work from home ship is going down. <laughs> And, uh, and the, uh, what you call it, uh, you know, that's just how cool things are. Eventually, the more companies that jump aboard the work from home ship, the more they'll start taking away jobs from the work at the office ship. And eventually, like I said right now, the office ship is working, is winning. But and it's not a battle, I'm just saying, you know. That's what I see happening. Right now, the office ship is winning, but the home ship eventually will catch up to where now they're competing for people like at a time. Either this person is going to go to this company who works from home, or this company who doesn't do any work from home. Now, when I say work from home, I mean they're working out like one or two days or three days or a full week. It's going to do it that way. And this company that does none. Now, when this company starts to jump my board more about you can work from home versus none, Eventually, I think it's going to be to where it goes from being lower home versus work or office to where now they're even home versus office to where now home is above uh, office work to where now the people who offer only office jobs or at least in IT are like scrambling trying to, you know, look for people. But see, the crazy thing is the people who work for home jobs are scrambling for people to find to work for them because they're getting people to work for them like like, that's the difference, though, is that the companies now have work for home jobs, they're not scrambling to search for people to work for them. Like they're, they can pretty much find people, I'm not saying quickly, but I would say at a pretty good pace, you know, as of, you know, the other way around. But those companies that don't offer work from home get to the low level to where work from home is now, they will have struggle with finding people to work for them as opposed to the other way around to where people can have struggle. The five people work for them when they have some other options. But yeah, so if companies don't have a board, then it, it may or may not happen, but I think it may have some, uh, you know, bad, you know, signs towards them being able to hire as many people as they want constantly, you say constantly. And now, not only do they have to worry about hiring people, but then they also have to worry about people leaving them to go to other companies who offer that. So it's like a two way thing now. Now they got to fight to get people. And also fight extra harder to keep people, you know. And then, like I said, my company, the, the I think one of the main reasons why they start allowing us to work from home is because they they want to try to you know find a way to keep people on board, you know. So they offer work from home. Some people, I, I think a lot of people stay because of that, you know. But maybe you know some people still not, but you know. Um, you know, I think that's so couple of have to start weighing our options and and. In the end, it's what's best for the company, but, you know, that's just one option that a company going to have to, you know, look at. Yeah, when they have, like, a person who's actually worked from home working there, then they're like, oh, okay. Then they'll push the agenda or they'll push the they'll push the work from home type of um, um, idea, you know. And, yeah, because uh, yeah. first it was just my team that did it. Work from home, it was my team. Uh, so my team, because with the when I say team, I'm talking about all of my people on my field, not field, but in my area. Uh, so my team is consisted of uh, all my field team, my networking field team, not mine, but the team I'm on. Well, at the time, the team I'm on consisted of the networking people, the storage people, and the retail people. That's what it consisted of. So we, we were the first team, we only had about 20 of us, or 25. We were the first team. To uh, 
Um, do the work from home thing. And we got two days a week. YouTube, we got two days a week. And so shortly after, you know, other teams launched up in a bar and the bar too. But yeah, now I think every team does it. <laughs> Not company. I don't know if security does it. I can't remember if they do. Yeah, I think maybe the security does it too now. But, uh, but I think almost every, you know, IT is killed in our company. And I don't think engineering, they do it now too as well. They do it as first, but now they do it. You know, every touch does it. And it works from home. Uh, so, yeah, so, just like a company, they start off with one division or one section of the company doing it in an IT, uh, in an IT, uh, um, division. Once one, one, one department did it, which is ours, and then it just took an effect to the rest of them. And some other, I remember, um, uh, some of the other teams were getting mad at us because we were from home. Like, Why can't we from home? We were getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. They were getting mad. <laughs> I remember we talking like, oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> we used to tease them like, hey, I'm off tomorrow. We know we weren't off. But we said it just to tease them. I was like, I'm off tomorrow, dog. <laughs> they used to get mad. Like, they so really got mad. Like, man, they ain't get to work from home, man. We don't get to work from home. They would get shot. They were gay. Something actually gets mad, like, they get to remote, oh, why the heck can we work from home? We all got remote, we all remote into the stuff anyway, you know, people get mad. <laughs> they get mad. <laughs> I, don't know that's, I don't know if that's why they start, you know, trickling up that, you know, okay, you guys work from home now too, but eventually not every team in IT, you know, division work from home, at least one, two days a week, or three days a week, whatever it was. So it's, it's interesting to see how that, you know, trickle the effect down to everybody, to the other team, you know, because, you know, but that's how it work in the, in the industry as a whole. This company's doing this other company be like, dang. But I'm sorry, the third company be like, well, dang, if they work from home, we do the exact same thing they do. Why can't we work from home? And they run it smoother than us. You know? <laughs> so they start jumping the ship or complaining, or maybe they won't complain, you know, but maybe they'll just be like, hmm, I don't need the company, go to the company over there with my own, you know. So, you know, but internally with our company, we have people like, no, they won't go crazy about it, but you can tell, like, uh, I mean, one of them was like, eh, I ain't so you have to go wrong. He was joke around, but he was serious, you know? <laughs> you know? They were serious, dude. They were telling me, like, what do you say, Sam, man? You know what? Like, I mean, hey, what can I say? We go from home. <laughs> Two days a week. <laughs> Change your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, if it's, you know, if it's, if it's in a charity within the company, people are like, hey, hey, Sam. You know? Well, it's going to have the same effect externally with other companies who do it, and your company not. And employee, employers are stupid. I mean, employees are stupid. You know, we know what other companies are doing. You know, <clears throat> we hear, we got friends and, you know, ex, you know, ex colleagues who work for other companies. We see, we can see, you know, job descriptions as well. You know, we, we can see stuff. It ain't 19, you know, 70 or 80 or 90, you know, even 90. We, we can get you know, see what's going on in other, you know, industries and other companies and what's going on and stuff, you know, so. Can't hide the, can't hide the, yeah. the veil over our eyes any longer.
leverage. More power over someone. More leverage, yeah. More leverage over the employee because this podcast up. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, all right, dude. Well, 